really was unsure if I could go faster again this year and make it. And then when I was able to drop time in the 500, I was just so excited. And when I knew, when I found out from coach that I was going, it was just a really cool experience. Chelsea's swimming three events at championships, the 500, the 400 and the mile, which are the same three events she swam at SUNY X, and all of the major meets she's had throughout her course of her career. Um, she's seated higher this year in the 500 than she is in the mile, which is a new and different thing for her from what she was last year. Um, my expectation is that I hope that she has a chance to score in, I mean, in particular in freestyle events, but I think, I mean, last year she went into the national seat 16th before I am. I think if she has a good meet and she swims smart and she, you know, does the little things right, I think she has an opportunity to score in all of her events. And I think there's a possibility that she can get into the top eight in at least one event, depending on how fast she swims. I mean, I think her signature event is a 1650, which is probably the best shot. Fast. To be honest, that's just uh, what it, that's the first word that comes to my mind because I, I still have days where I'm like, oh, I'm still a freshman. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I'm done. You know, I'm graduating in May. I don't have another year of this. So um, it's been an amazing time. It's just so much fun. I love the people here. Like, New Paltz is a really special place, and the people are special. Like, everyone here is so nice. Literally, anybody you talk to is going to be a nice person. It's all major in math and computer science. Um, I'm focusing more on the computer science side. The math I did just sort of because I like math and I find it interesting. And so for computer science, I had an internship last summer where I was a mobile application developer. For the most part, it's a lot of just coding, making the computer do what I want it to do, uh, a lot of theory. And in, in theory, how would I make the computer do this or how would I make the computer do that? And that's a little difficult, but um, when it comes down to the coding, it's pretty interesting. And I mean, it's hard because it's a science, and most science majors are hard, or most majors in general are hard. But it's a lot of fun, too. I really enjoy it. I mean, I wake up at whatever time I get up, I go to practice, usually that's first, then I get something to eat and then I go to the library and I'm in the library until class and then after class I go back to the library until practice and then after practice I either go back to the library again after getting food or I go home depending on how much work I have. I'm just excited to finish out my season. My senior year I just want to finish it out strong. I don't really think I hit my peak at SUNYX so I'm hoping I can hit it at the NCAAs but even if I don't I just like to do my best. And if I can come in top eight in the 500 or the mile, that would be phenomenal. That obviously is a huge goal that I would have wanted to do. But um, I'd like top 16 as well. You know, just becoming an All-American again would be really, really nice. Chelsea has joined a string of successful distance swimmers that have come through this program in the last number of years, in particular starting with Jess Lester and then moving on with her. In, in my six years, I've really had the luxury of coaching both of them. We both set SUNYAC records in the mile. Chelsea, of course, um, is the best of the distance swimmers that I've ever coached on either side. Um, is our school record holder in four individual events on a relay and is a two-time national qualifier individually, which is um, I mean, an exceptional accomplishment for somebody who was not highly touted out of high school. Um, I think that her legacy in the program um, that she'll leave to her teammates is to say, hey, look, like, you can accomplish anything if you work hard. And, I mean, she's, I think, the epitome of somebody that knows, you know, how to work hard, how to balance swimming and academics, and how to be successful um, in all the things that she does. I mean, it's like defining what is an ideal student athlete is what Chelsea Locko is. I mean, she's able to be great at everything, and I think that her impact in the program will be for anybody that comes in to say, hey, look, like, if I work hard, and if I try hard, and if I do little things right, I can be successful. And, you know, that's, that's really the big thing is the impact on her teammates. You know, on the record books, of course, you know, she's arguably the greatest female distance swimmer to ever have swam here at New Paltz and one of the best female swimmers um, ever in the history of the program.